my second graders. Uh, it's Animal Day, so I have a really fun art project that also involves a little bit of math for you guys to do. We're going to draw leopards, but you're only going to use triangles. So think about what a triangle is, and then let's look at some leopards, and then we'll practice a little bit, and I'll show you my example. So here's a beautiful leopard on a tree. Here's another lovely looking leopard crouching and maybe getting ready to pounce. And I want you to start to notice, where do you see triangles? We know triangles have three sides and three points, and they can come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Some of them have all equal sides. Some of them have two really long sides and one short side. Um, they can come in all different uh, shapes as long as they have three sides and three points and they're closed, okay? So start to notice the triangles you see on this leopard. Maybe you notice the ears. Those are good triangles. Maybe you notice her nose. It's a nice little triangle. Or her chin, a little triangle. You might even start to notice, okay, well, her back kind of looks like maybe a triangle, the point up here. And so does her chest, like an upside down triangle. Technically, no triangles are ever, ever upside down. You might even start to notice a little bit of a triangle shape here. We're going to get really creative with our triangles, and I want to show you an example uh, that I tried to make using this leopard picture and only triangle. Here we go. So notice, I've only got triangles. All of my shapes only have three sides and three points. I've got a triangle for her back. I've got a triangle for her chest and her belly. I've got a leg triangle. She's got those giant paws. So I made my, I put my triangle point up at the top and I did the same thing on the other side and I even showed a back leg. I've got triangle ears. I've got triangle eyes and a nose. And then I've got kind of uh, the beginnings of a triangle for a mouth. You can draw lines on your drawing as well. That's fine, lines and triangles. Um, and then I used a big, long, skinny triangle for the tail with a, just a little triangle for that black part at the very tippy tip of her tail. This I did on the computer. You guys could try it on your computer if you wanted to, or you could try it um, on pencil and paper. So you will need for this um, pad of paper. A ruler really helps, a pencil, for the first go, colored pencils or crayons or markers or paint, whatever you want, all of that works for creating your leopard. Now I'm gonna show you my example that I did on pencil and paper. And here it is. So I not, I not, not only drew the leopard, uh, but I also added some decoration, some scene behind my leopard. So notice I've got triangles everywhere. Triangle head, triangle body, triangle legs, triangle nose, triangle eyes. I use two triangles back to back. Um, and then if you even look at the decoration around, the grass is triangles. The tree and the leaves are triangles. You guys can have so much fun with this. And I challenge you to use just triangles as your main shape. You can also use a couple lines here and there. Like notice I did the mouth with some lines. But try your best to just use triangles to create your leopard. If you make a leopard picture out of triangles, please, please, please take a picture of it and put it up online so we can all see it because I really would love to see your leopard artwork. Good luck, have fun, create some beautiful art.